हूँ सिर्फ अशोक चोटवानी सिर्फ लीना सिर्फ आत्मा सिर्फ राजेश सिर्फ राजू सिर्फ ब्लिको सिर्फ सुदीप सिर्फ रू माता जी सिर्फ पार्वतीमा सिर्फ सगाई सिर्फ गौतम सिर्फ ब्लिस एंड द रेस्ट ऑफ यू वेलकम टू दिस कॉल आई डोंट सी एनी ऑफ यू ऑन द कॉल बट मेनी ऑफ यू आर ज्वाइनिंग द कॉल वेलकम सो द सब्जेक्ट ऑफ टूडेज डिस्कशन कैन वी लव गॉड can we love god the very very different uh, kind of a topic but it helps in the journey of enlightenment and i hope that i will get some interesting feedback from you can you love god can we love god who would like to attempt this can we love god if you can tell me how you can't tell me why करेक्ट Yes, so Sudeep Bhargava, what do you have to say, Sudeep? Thank you, Sagar. Thank you for starting the champion. Shivam. Thank you. So loving God is difficult because we do not have any physical form. Correct. So if we directly say that I love God, it will be difficult to express it somehow. But for me, if I can see the nature, and I know that it is the God Himself. the purest form of god appearing in form of this nature and then if i love nature which you which you call as a prem yoga also that is for the human beings i'm just putting it from the nature's point of view because that is what i have been able to do so if i can see nature and realize that it is nothing but god then i have a physical form in front of me then loving nature is as good as loving god what do you mean by loving nature nature could be mountains rivers trees whatever i see around me which i know is a manifestation uh-huh. of god so if i love them when i get close to them it feels that i am getting close to god that is nothing but loving god okay uh, interesting i don't know i i don't know how i i i for me how can we love a mountain uh, we can appreciate a mountain we can be amazed by a mountain um, let me get people's opinion because as i told you every day our belief evolves our whole understanding so deep it evolves on a daily basis right so um let's see where we where we get who would like to who would like to go big ablico can we love god shivam shivam everybody shivam shivam to love unseen is difficult correct so we can love only by understanding by knowledge or by realization realization is the second step but by understanding that the god is in every soul as a spark of unique life so we can love all the living things including animal plants and human beings that is number one by understanding we know that sheep is everywhere kan kan mein prabhu then we can love all the non living things also as a manifestation of sip only so we can love by sip only sip is soul ishwar and possible then only we can love everything around us in ir relativity whether it is soul or possible okay good good understanding i also want people who can't relate to this to talk i mean when you can't understand it you can't accept it you must have both the, the pros and the cons we need to have both rajesh your opinion rajesh can we love god we can love god by loving ourselves and people Are, around us. very good how do you love yourself it means uh, i don't want to use any st- uh, sanskrit word but loving is to live in uh, total joy whatever comes face it whatever does not come also jo mila acha jo na mila wo prabhu ki ichha <laughs> and what is the sanskrit word you are going to use or is it going to be used stiti pragna 
स्थित प्रज्ञ आई थॉट यू आर सेइंग अहम ब्रह्मस्मि ओके सो सो जो हुआ वो अच्छा जो ना हुआ वो प्रभु की इच्छा जो मिला वो अच्छा मतलब जो मिला जो मिलो अच्छा और ना मिला वो प्रभु की इच्छा आई लाइक राजेश हिंदी राइमिंग कोट्स राजेश शुड कंट्रीब्यूट टू आवर आर्काइव्स एंड कंट्रीब्यूट टू आवर मैसेजेस रू माता जी बताइए थैंक यू राजेश सो लविंग आवर सेल्फ राजेश कम्स विद डिफरेंट थिंग of loving ourselves blico comes with a different thing saying that you can love all animate and inanimate and sagai started off saying that by loving all we can love god we have three i think three speakers right now and ru mata ji ru mata ji bataiye pranam guru ji shivoham pranam pranam mata ji shivo bataiye guru ji i feel when we are listening your bhajans and attending monday session this session we are you know we are in one with god i have always felt like this when we are remembering in god it may be any yoga we are loving god but how do it you say this is love it may be yoga it may be bhakti yoga it may be any yoga we are united with god at that time we are really close to god that means we are loving god sip but madhavi rubada ji sometime bhakti yoga may be respect for god may be reverence for god today's subject is can we love god guru ji pyar bhi to hota hai na respect ke sath sath pyar bhi hota hai kabhi kabhi respect hota hai pyar na bhi hota hai kabhi kabhi respect suppose koi apne baap ko baap ko respect karta hai lekin pyar nahi karta hai sometimes a child will respect their parent but not love their parent ऐसे हो सकता है नहीं हो सकता है हो सकता है हो सकता है पर प्रभु को तो प्यार करते हैं ना जिसने हमें जन्म दिया है उसी ने हमें भेजा है हाँ आप तो करते हैं आई हैव नो डाउट आप करते हैं नहीं नहीं But... वैसे सबका ही होता है प्रभु को कभी ना कभी हर कोई प्यार करता है लेट मी एक्सप्लेन समथिंग टू यू प्रभु को प्रभु को हम प्रभु की हम पूजा प्रभु की पूजा हर कोई करता है एवरीबॉडी डज प्रेयर्स राइट एवरीबॉडी ब्लेस एवरीबॉडी विल प्रे टू गॉड वन एवरीबॉडी नॉर्मली विल बिलीव इन गॉड हैव फेथ इन गॉड होप इन गॉड ट्रस्ट गॉड हैव एंथूजियास्म व्हिच मींस दैट दैट फीलिंग ऑफ जॉय विद गॉड बट वेरी फ्यू पीपल एक्चुअली लव गॉड हां दैट व्हेन यू व्हेन यू लव गॉड रुमाता जी What is the difference when you love and you don't love? Can you tell me, Rohit? We are coming to you next, Rohit. What is the difference, Rumata Ji, when you love God and you don't love God? Tell me. Guru Ji, जब जिससे प्यार करते हैं ना ऐसी feeling होती है कि हम उसके बिना रह नहीं सकते. हाँ हाँ अभी आप बोल रहे हैं अभी आप सही बात बोल रहे हैं. उसके लिए हम तड़पते हैं तड़पते हैं. हाँ. दिल तर सत प्रभु दर शन को आज दिल तर सत प्रभु दर्शन को आज मेरे दिल की है एक यही तलाश मेरे दिल की है एक यही तलाश ओ अपना मुझको बना तू और कुछ चाहूना तड़पत प्रभु दर्शन रु माता जी वो तड़पना सबको होता है क्या होता है सबको तड़प होता है सबको नहीं होता है जो एनलाइटनमेंट के रास्ते पे है उसको होता है प्रभु मेरा जीवन अर्पण करो तुझको और कुछ ना मैं चाहता तू जो मिले मुझको स्वीकार मैं हूं करता देता क्या राजेश ने क्या बोला जो दिया वो अच्छा जो ना दिया वो तेरी इच्छा 
Huh? Whatever Jee exact words he knows. But Rumata Ji, so when there is this deep love for God, this deep yearning, Dada Ji kya kehte the? The triple yearning. More than a miser yearns for gold. More than a lover yearns for his beloved. More than a child yearns for its mother whom it has lost. मोर देन दिस जब हम अपने अपने प्रभु को अपने पिया को ऐसे चाहते हैं वेरी गुड कौन सा है वो गान ओ पिया पूर्व बस कौन सा है वो गाना फर्स्ट फर्स्ट लाइन Remember Girish? No. Plate. Okay. Go ahead. Come on. Shivam Guru. Yeah. So, uh, so God is uh, Nirgun Nirakar Saru, and uh, uh, so the question is, can we love God? So yes, we can love God. Uh, for the person who uh, is not aware that uh, you know God is a Nirgun Nirakar Saru, so Sadguru. is in uh, sakar swarup so if somebody loves sadguru also uh, that is a, a love for god that is one bhakti yoga uh, and uh, second is uh, to in we should be in total acceptance for uh, person situation and things no rejection at all so that is that is no, that means total surrender no, no what you saying is love for god. no what you saying is correct but it's not going When you love God, you know what you say, right? You say this: "Tu hi to mera sab kuch hai, tu hi to meri jaan hai. Tum bind mein kya? O piya, mein kuch bhi na. Tu hai to mein ho, tum bind mein kuch na." ये सांस जो भी मैं लेता वो तेरी कृपा आई थॉट गिरीश यू न्यू दिस सॉन्ग तुम बिन मैं मर जाता मैं जी नहीं पाता तेरे लिए मैं जिंदा तुझ बिन मैं मर जाता आई बी एबल टू टेल गॉड दिस तू ही तो मेरा सब कुछ तो ही तो मेरी जान है तुम बिन मैं क्या ओ पिया मैं कुछ भी ना तो रोहित व्हेन यू आर टॉकिंग ऑफ भक्ति एक्सेप्टेंस सरेंडर ऑल दैट इज फाइन लव इज अ डिफरेंट इमोशन एंड यू कैन नॉट लव ओनली वन पर्सन द मोमेंट यू लव वन पर्सन यू डोंट लव गॉड यू कैन लव द वन बिलविड एज एज द डिवाइन मैनिफेस्टेशन दैट्स फाइन but you should be able to see god in everybody is yes, girish you want to say something yes correct meri zindagi hai tu meri har khushi hai tujh bin main kuch bhi nahi ho sab kuch tu hi hai tujhe paane ke liye main मरने को तैयार ये संत जीवन से ज्यादा मैं तुझको ही चाहू सो देर इज देर इज अ डीप लव कैन वी गेट इन टू द डीप लव फॉर गॉड एंड द चैलेंज इज हु रोहित सेट निर्गुड निराकार जिसका कोई रूप नहीं उसको कैसे प्यार करें दिस माई डियर फ्रेंड टूडे सेशन इज टू टेक यू टू द लेवल ऑफ गॉड रियलाइजेशन टूडे सेशन टू टेक यू टू दैट लेवल हाउ डू यू लव गॉड हाउ डू यू रीच दैट स्टेट यस गिरीश वी हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड गॉड इज नॉट गॉड गॉड इज सुप्रीम इमोर्टल पावर वी हैव टू रियलाइज रियलाइज दैट and yeah. we have to go beyond this uh, material desires and 
going behind them as a slave. Correct. This will and make Girish, us... and we have to love everybody. You no, know, Girish. More important, how do how do you love God, Girish? By seeing God in everyone. Yeah, it may be a small bird. Today, a small I was in the Maldives. A beautiful Maldivian ark. It's my favorite bird. In Iceland, it becomes the Icelandic ark. In Kashmir, it becomes the Kashmiri ark. It's a ark. It's a beautiful small bird. Very powerful wings. Flies across oceans. It. It is so. It is so loving. It is so beautiful. You love that bird. You love God. Sometimes, who was it? I think Blico was saying, in inanimate. Suppose you love a crystal. Suppose there's a crystal in front of you, and you love the crystal. Now, if you love the crystal, you don't love God. But if you love the crystal as a manifestation of God, then you are loving God. If you love a diamond as a diamond, it's not loving God. But can you love the diamond as God? I don't know. You all should ask me tough, tougher questions because you all don't seem to get this picture very clear. I, I know many of you are struggling on this point. Girish, you have something more to say. Love is God. God is love. Yes. Love comes from God and goes to God. Love is God. Love is divine. Love comes from the divine. Love goes to the absolutely correct. But many people struggle. Many people struggle on this particular point. Correct. Who else would like to speak about? Because let me tell you one thing. If you want true enlightenment, if you want true enlightenment, you need love. If you don't have love, if a life without a life without love cannot be an enlightened life. If love is missing, then the divine is missing. So you have to reach that point. You have to have, you have to be able to love God as your beloved. ओ पिया तू मेरा सब कुछ और कुछ क्या मैं मांगू तू मिला तो सब मिला है और क्या इस जग में चाहू आर वी एबल टू से दैट आर वी एबल टू से दैट एंड 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 आई नो दैट मेनी ऑफ यू आर स्ट्रगलिंग and you are not even able to ask me questions on this point rekha parmani are you able to love god in one and all the shivoha mayor shivoha yes i am trying to do i love god in one and all i see god no But... you have a lot of bhakti you have a lot of bhakti for god you love god a lot as in lord shiva but are you able to love god in his manifestations not all i am still struggling i need to talk the truth so why is it that you are struggling to find god to find the divine everywhere okay question one my dear friends are we clear that god appears in all yes lena lena anand is are we clear or we are not clear we are clear then why are we not able to love all right yeah because we don't see god in everybody uh, if we see if we see start seeing if when once we understand the uh, concept of god like it is nirgun nirgun nirakar and it is the manifest and everything is a manifestation of god only itself so when we start seeing god in every person things situation then automatically that love starts developing why is it so difficult right because we don't see god in everybody we why don't do we see that as god? a manifest why we don't see god in everyone because we are still not firm on you know what uh, we are not you know we are not contemplating more on you know that concept so once we have that you know uh, strong understanding uh, and what happens that, uh, and what happens when you get this understanding then automatically that love starts when you start seeing god in each and every creation it's then, the, uh, then you know that love starts developing 
and then what you start happens? seeing you start seeing uh, you know uh, you, you start feeling love for everything each and every and then what happens and then what happens and and uh, then what happens is then uh, that love uh, that because that love is coming from within you you start uh, you know going uh, you start becoming antarmukha you and become then, you become one with god you are enlightened you are yeah, yes. and then once once yeah, correct this so, key today's session in today's session if we are able to see the divine in one and all if we are able to love god all the time this is a key this is a shortcut a shortcut, shortcut to moksha yeah. <laughs> this is a shortcut to moksha so okay. this is so what we call as uh, sarva sarveshwara yeah. bhakti yeah. sarveshwara bhakti Sar- Sarveshwar Bhakti. What is the What is the meaning of that? Sarveshwar Bhakti, in the sense, everything is a creation of God. Uh, so okay. when we start doing that kind of a bhakti, that every every creation of God uh, is a creation of a God, and when you start seeing that, feeling that, including yourself, then you become. Bhakti one with is God. a lower form, but higher form than bhakti is prema. Okay, Sangam Gupta, Sangam Gupta. thank you guruji sir thank you uh, shivam shivam sir uh, i think uh, ego is the main problem for loving all if the, yes, if the ego is not there everything everything is you are you are right you are right you are absolutely right but how do you drop the ego sangam <laughs> when, when there is no mind no ego no sangam ji no 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 sangam ji huh. when you start loving god very deeply when you start yearning for god very deeply in that hmm. yearning you will drop the ego okay. you have to yearn for god you have to really have you, sangam ji have you, heard, have you heard the message thank you very much it says मेरे चित में और ख्याल में तुम बस तुम ही हो सांस लेता मैं हर सांस तुम ही हो तू दिल की धड़कन तू मेरी जान हो तू मेरा सब कुछ तुम बिन नहीं हो तुम बिन नहीं हो वी हैव टू से दिस कहीं दूर पे तुम तो नहीं हो दिल के अंदर हो तुम मेरे पास हो सब कुछ मेरे हो वी आर कैरिड अवे वी आर कैरिड अवे बाई द आउटसाइड वर्ल्ड एंड वी आर लॉस्ट इट्स वेरी सैड आत्मात्रय इंधन रेखा आत्मात्रय हाँ शिवम सर सर आई फील वेन डिवोशन इंक्रीजेस बी ऑन डी लेवल then we can love god excellent when devotion increases correct yeah when bhakti when bhakti becomes more and more and more and more and more when you have lot of bhakti that bhakti grows into love hmm yes and that love atmatra the problem is that love cannot be expressed unless there is realization प्रभु हर जगह कण कण में भगवान करेक्ट हर इंसान में ही भगवान है भगवान नहीं आसमान में है कण कण में प्रभु की शक्ति ही है हर जीव में भगवान है अभी एबल टू डू दिस यू नो द मॉलडीव आत्मत्र आई कम टू मॉलडीव Okay. I go to water, and I see colorful fish. I just yes. see God. I see ship. Mm-hmm. If some of you want to see, just go and go to YouTube and check snorkeling. S n o r k e l l i n g snorkeling, and you will see the underwater world. You will see God. You will see ship. Yes. Ship is in every colorful fish. Mm-hmm. In my office, we serve, we feed pigeons every morning, every afternoon. Three hundred pigeons. Three hundred pigeons. They fly from the ground. You should see the power of ship. The power of ship. I I feel the power every day. 
ಬತ್ತಮೀಸ್ all kind of bad things they do then what do we do vatvatray still we have to see god yes we have that is the challenge this is where we have to go beyond the body mind the ego very difficult very difficult right but, but this is a challenge atmatray because yes. we have to see beyond the skin we have to see the atma within yeah i know it's not easy i'm not telling you it's very easy but this is the way this is the only way to becoming uh, united with the divine sure sir okay. rekha parvan thank you sir thank you shivoham mer shivoham i don't hate anybody yeah. and as as atma tri tri ji said it's the same with me i only few people like i see sip in them but uh, i avoid them that's all because uh, they are toxic and they cause trouble like yeah they rock you, my peace you but, may avoid somebody toxic on the outside but you should still see sip on the inside yes so therefore yes. avoiding a toxic person is okay but yes. you should avoid the toxic person in the consciousness of presence of sip which is very difficult yes i should do that i do that I, we, i'm trying to do this when we do that that means we are truly enlightened yes when we reach that state therefore my dear friends the idea of can the subject today can we love god the moment we love god's manifestations everything is god that takes us quicker into prema yoga that takes us into the state of yoga union with the divine but we have to make this habit it is a habit you start building the habit of loving all good or bad nothing is good nothing is bad everything is perfect okay next question who is going next ashwam sir shiva sir ha sir i have read that uh, buddha said uh, when you free from the desire of mukti you will get mukti <laughs> what it means no i don't think that's <laughs> true i don't think he said he said you should you should apo deepo bhava you must try to light your own lamp which means that you have to seek yeah. that enlightenment how can okay. how can we not seek enlightenment atmatra if you don't seek enlightenment how will you get it no uh, no initially it is uh, essential but at the last step uh, all the desire should dissolve i think so no see once you realize the truth then atmatra let me explain to you then from yeah. the from that state of desiring god and liberation you yeah. go to the next step what is the next step atmatra the next step is surrender yeah. you surrender to the divine this is what the buddha may have meant in whatever you have read you surrender because you yeah. trust you trust hmm. the divine but I you trust. still yearn but you still yearn only for god okay if you stop yearning for god the mind will start yearning for something else hmm now i love god bhar dev bada sa itna bhar de ke aur kuch nahi ho mere dil mein bas ek tum hi ho problem is hamare dil mein ek nahi hamare dil mein we got too many desires hmm. because we have too many desires we don't attain god yes. why we don't attain sip but the uh, first desire is sip. is only god no 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 that is wrong no first and second and third my first desire is for god second also god third also god fourth also god tenth also god i see <laughs> okay, okay 
because atmatra tell me what is your second desire can you tell me who, who is the second second desire somebody whom you do is very dear to you yes my son uh -huh. your son that means yeah. straight away there is duality no <laughs> straight away there is duality your son is not your son your son is god your son is ship yes if you love your son as ship then there's nothing wrong if you love your love your son as your son that uh -huh. means your love for god is not complete i see see what you're telling is like this atmatra huh? if i tell you if i tell you i love my son a lot okay okay if i tell you i love my son a lot and somebody says your son is dead then i will cry hmm but if somebody says the neighbor's son is dead i will not cry right that means immediately you think my son is my son and neighbor's son is not my son therefore immediately you are not realizing that Comparison. everything is shit uh -huh. so everything is shit hmm. that means you are you are not that in that realization khalil gibran khalil huh? gibran in the prophet he says your son does not come from you but through you there's a beautiful uh, book called khalil gibran called the prophet he okay. gives a good story he says your son is not your son you are just you have just a facilitator for your son okay back to the main subject anybody who wants to touch thank you atmatra i don't want to miss today's subject is very very important for enlightenment to becoming one with god can we love god god is invisible god is ship supreme immortal power how to love god shivoham air shivoham uh, air when we start loving everyone around us then automatically the thing that happens is even expectation starts coming i think that is what stops us from, from you you expect from them or they expect from you but works both ways sir even we start expecting that they also should why, love us back why something. should you expect when you love god why should you expect that's what the thing is that that is what is actually stopping us because we start comparing them that we are loving but they are not yeah but that is wrong no kavita see yeah. the moment we start loving people loving god suppose you love god actually yeah. suppose actually god was sitting in front of you and you love god will you have mm -hmm. any expectation from god no no because it's god now how can i should I have expectation from god yeah because we know That's... whatever is yeah whatever he wants to give me will give yeah. we are it's give. not it's not a, it's not a quid pro quo it's not yeah. a this for that it's mm -hmm. not a, because i am loving god because god should give me something it's not like yeah. that generally so all the people are to... that only i think the conditions Kavita. are there in true love there are no conditions in true love there are no expectations hmm. the moment there are conditions and expectations it is not true love yeah it is not divine love it is not ishq hakiki yeah you know therefore all of yes. us uh, kavita and the rest we have to we have to build this love into our life if we cannot build love into our life i'm telling you we cannot be enlightened cannot impossible because love is god love comes from god love goes to god love is divine love comes from the divine it goes to the divine blico yes blico i can't hear you some of your your you are unmuted but something wrong with your mic i think i can't hear you okay just check your mic blico so anybody else before we close today's session i have to today, type to once yes please this says by loving everything around us human beings animals and ourselves we love god since god is everywhere yes not only human beings not only animals even a stone even a, even a beautiful crystal i told you a beautiful stone a beautiful crystal a, a beautiful leaf a dead leaf a dry leaf which is possimum because even possimum is god the rain you love the rain 
You love the snow. It may be a pebble on the beach. You pick up a small pebble and you love that pebble. What does it show? It shows you have realized God. Because God is in that pebble. God is everywhere. But you should not love something and hate something. There should be only love. Only love. Only love. Nothing but love. Okay. Love. One more question, uh, Administrator. Lena Allen says, stuck in materialistic world, wrong interpretation of the word love. Meera Bai was in love with God. She was called insane. See God as energy. Very sad, no, Lina? That's what, when, when Meera was in love, uh, on the Meera bhajans, you see, there's so much prema yoga in the bhajans. There's so much bhakti, there's so much prema yoga. But uh, we don't understand it. Okay, Dattatray, I think that came yesterday, and then Girish. Mr. Dattatray, you had yesterday's question pending. We were supposed to start with your question. Yes, please, what is the question? I can't hear you. I can, please unmute. Yeah, please unmute. Uh, absolutely sorry, sir. Actually, because of traveling, I was not able to join. Classes no, no problem. Online. But we'll try. We have three, four, two, three minutes. But we'll try to answer your question because you are asking yesterday. What is the question, please? Sir, I'll repeat the question. One of our close relative, uh, there was a death in that family. Ah, uh, no, I don't. I don't remember your question. So, yeah. This is wrong to believe anything without using our intellect. Okay. Suppose, suppose I tell you, in my house, I have an apple tree. And in the apple tree, there are many mangoes. Will you believe? No, sir. Absolutely not. Why you will not believe? Why because you will not I believe? I know that apple tree uh, won't have mangoes. It is not a mango tree. Apple tree so like that, mangoes. that, like that, Mr. Dattatray, like that, there are certain laws. And what you are saying does not go as per the laws. See, the body, the body dies. The body dies. The moment the body dies, suppose when man is sleeping, when man is sleeping, in the morning when he wakes up, will we burn the body? No. But when he's dead, will we burn the body? Yes. Why we burn the body? Because the Atma leaves that body. Correct. And Atma leaves the body and the body, we burn it. The body is deformed. It becomes ashes. Okay. And the Atma that leaves, I think I blew a balloon yesterday and showed you. The Atma yeah. that leaves, it becomes one with the Supreme. The Supreme is everywhere. The Shakti is everywhere. So this is what I, I was requesting you to come early so we can explain more to you. But for right. now, all I'm telling you, you told, you told that the great-grandfather's Atma came and no, it is not your Atma is different from my Atma. This let me explain to you. Suppose in your house, there's a bulb. In the bulb, light comes. How the light comes? Now, once we switch on the button. So the bulb has got different electricity and the TV has got different electricity and the fan has got different electricity, correct? Very correct, sir. It is coming from different different boards, one Maharashtra board, one Delhi board, one Calcutta board. Correct. Or coming from one board or different different boards? Different different boards. How different boards? It's all coming from your house main switch, no? Yeah, yeah, it is coming from main switch. From one, one source? Yeah. But different button, different button for the bulb, different button for the TV, different button for the fan. But the source is one and the same. Therefore, Shakti is one or Shakti is different? No, no. Sir, I'm not denying your point. I agree. Yeah. I completely agree. But yeah. my question is how that person was able to describe what he is saying, I am a, uh, what he narrated to me that I am able to visualize two of his relatives. So after four or five days, again, we went to that house. And I told this fellow to describe what he exactly saw. He told that uh, two ancestors from the same family came to take that Atma. 
and uh, the description what he gave that family uh, told us yes, they were our ancestors and this person was never been to that village so my question is how he was able to describe what how he was able to describe we don't know the answer now but just like i'm telling you there are mangoes growing on my apple tree it is not possible please understand when the body is died and dead and the, uh, the body become becomes uh, ashes the soul becomes one with the supreme that much you have to accept then we will continue further discussion what you are saying you are, i from next, in the next question tomorrow or day after tomorrow let us take only from that point onwards what right, that sir. man was and let us try to find an answer sir, to that what, question also. Uh, what you are saying that uh, all different buttons the origin is one and the same i am 100% convinced on that aspect no then what is that. your doubt no no how uh, that man no. came to know your only yeah. question how that man came to know absolutely, that we will absolutely. see absolutely yeah. Okay, so Mr. Dattatre, that we will answer separately. Don't give up that question. But see what happened, Mr. Dattatre. Every time when we are small children, we are taught God lives in the skies, God lives in heaven. These are all lies. Dattatre, what is what is your birthday? Where is your birthday? Uh, eighteen ten seventy four. Eighteen ten. You must when you you must be cutting cake or sometimes you are cutting cake on your birthday. Right, sir. But you know your birthday is not true. It's a fake. Eighteen ten is not your birthday. You know that. Yeah, I agree. Why it's not your birthday? Because there is a variation. My mom tells that I I was born on the fourth day, fourth day of Navratri. That day is ninety. <laughs> okay, let me explain to you. In my father's diary, it is mentioned seventy, and in my school okay, diary, it is mentioned eighty. It is not seventeenth. It is not eighteenth. It is not nineteenth. Okay. You know, you were actually born nine months before. Agree. That the body I... came later. The body came later. You were born nine months before. So this is a very interesting story that we will answer one by one. But I thank you for joining, my dear friends. Today's subject is very important. The subject of prema yoga. We can love God. If we know the true meaning of God, if we know God is sip, if we realize God is sip, Rajesh, you want to say something quickly before I close the call or tomorrow? I just wanted to say that uh, in a talk I had heard for everything that somebody tells you to have three rules for this. One is it written in scriptures? That's my logical or my spiritual mind approves of it. And the third is, do I have an experience of it? If these three things are not happening, then you should not believe anything. And the fourth thing, the fourth thing, is it necessary? If it is not necessary, we should drop it. With folded hands, I bow down to you.